cats. They make up a big portion of wild animals we fear, so the idea of cryptid cats makes a really interesting topic to cover. From mysterious cats that were notorious for slashing cacti to possible saber-toothed tiger sightings in the wild, there's a lot to uncover in this iceberg. So with that in mind, welcome to the feline cryptid iceberg. And quick thing to add, if you have any suggestions for cryptid topics you'd like me to cover, make sure to drop them down below. Alright, let's get straight into a video now with the first entry of tier 1, Beast of Bodmin Moor. The Beast of Bodmin Moor, a UK legend, has interest the public since its first reported sighting in 1978. It's described as a phantom black cat the size of a puma and has sparked over 60 sightings throughout its time. It's often described as a large cat-like creature with sharp, prominent teeth and white-yellow eyes, like a mix between a domestic cat and a panther. The sightings, along with mutilated livestock, have fueled ongoing rumors and speculation about it. One notable sighting occurred in July 2015, when Carol Desforges, an office worker, saw a mysterious animal in her garden near Plymouth. Initially thinking it was a fox, she later considered it might be a big cat, such as a puma or a lynx, after reviewing photos she captured. This incident added to the speculation about the beast's existence. In 1995, the UK government even conducted an official investigation into these sightings. The investigation, led by the Agriculture Development Advisory Service, concluded that while there was no verifiable evidence of a big cat on Bodmer Moor, it also couldn't be proven that such an animal didn't exist. The report stated that only four suspected livestock kills were reported in nearly six months, none indicating the involvement of anything more than native dogs or animals. A theory later emerged though involving circus entertainer Mary Chipperfield, who allegedly released three pumas into the wild in 1978 following the closure of her zoo in Plymouth. Benjamin Mee of Darmeter Zoo later revealed that these pumas were expected at Darmeter Zoo but never arrived, leading credence to the theory that they were released into the wild which might have explained it all. Mingwa The Mingwa, also known as the Nanda, is a cryptid from Tanzania that's described as a massive, ferocious feline and about the size of a donkey. This nocturnal creature first came to broader attention in the early 1900s, especially in 1938 with the British Scientific Journal Discovery published a discussion about this animal. Captain William Hitchens, a colonial advisor in Tanzania, reported the first notable encounter with the Mingwa in 1922. He described a series of violent attacks on locals, including the death of a native constable in which large, brindled grey fur was found, unlike that of known local big cats. These incidents led to widespread fear among the local populace, with many believing that the Mingwa was responsible rather than a lion or a leopard, so some were actually paranoid about it. Scottish hunter Patrick Bowen actually attempted to hunt the Mingwa in the 1920s, spurred by the animal's large tracks and hair samples that differed from known species. Despite failing to capture or kill the creature, Bowen remained convinced of its existence and uniqueness. Further attacks on humans kept being reported over the years, linked to numerous hunting expeditions, but none of these have been successful in identifying or capturing the animal. The deep, largely unexplored jungles of Tanzania which have concealed ancient ruins for centuries add to the mystery surrounding this cryptid. There's some theories about its identity that range from it being a larger subspecies of the African golden cat or an entirely new species of big cat altogether. Phantom Panther The legend of the Australian panther, often referred to as the Phantom Panther, has been part of Australian folklore for decades with numerous sightings and reports across various regions of the country. These mysterious creatures are often described as large, black cats resembling panthers or pumas. The legend encompasses several regional variations though, including the Blue Mountains Panther, Otway Panther, Grampians Puma, and Gypsyland Puma. For example, in Victoria, the Otway Ranges and Grampians National Park have been a hotspot for alleged sightings of large, black cat-like creatures, which some believe could be the Phantom Panther. When it is described what they believed was a powerful and stealthy feline, but concrete evidence isn't really there. Similarly, in the Gypsyland region of Victoria, reports describe the same thing, being encounters with a large, sleek black feline. Despite a lack of conclusive proof, eyewitnesses' accounts have persisted over the years. Amber Noceta, a wildlife photographer, reignited discussions about these big cats after photographing a large black feline in the Apollo Bay area. Professional scalers estimate the cat in Noceta's photo to be about the size of a 60 liter cooler box. The sightings are said to date back 30 years too, and there's even been cases of unidentified livestock maulings that don't match the killing patterns of wild dogs, leading to speculation about the existence of big cats in Australia. Alien Big Cats Alien Big Cats, or ABCs, also known as Phantom Cats, 
are large felines reported in regions outside their native habitat. So it really isn't a specific cryptid but a worldwide thing. These settings are global with notable occurrences in Europe, the United States and New Zealand. In Europe, several cases involved escaped exotic wildcats. For instance, in the 1900s, circus owner Mary Chipperfield allegedly released her pet mountain lions into the moorlands of Great Britain after a circus shut down. Later, people released exotic animals into the wild following a ban on large exotic predators. Species caught in Great Britain include cougars, Canadian lynx, Eurasian lynx, and ocelots. In the United States, sightings include large panthers in Connecticut, mountain lions in Delaware, and big cat reports in Hawaii, Illinois, Massachusetts, and North Carolina. In Hawaii, a hunt for a big cat in 2003 yielded inconclusive DNA analysis from a first sample, and no cat was detected by traps or infrared cameras. Even New Zealand has reported big cat sighting since the late 1990s across both North and South Islands. Searches by the Ministry of Agriculture and Forestry though found no corroborating physical evidence. Beast of Exmoor The Beast of Exmoor, a large cat-like creature set to roam Exmoor National Park in the UK, has been a topic of intrigue since the 1970s. This feline resembles a panther or puma, typically dark grey, tan, or black, and ranging from 1 to 2 meters in length. The most substantial evidence for its existence emerged in the 1980s with the wave of sheep killings in Exmoor, displaying injuries consistent with a large cat attack. A large puma skull was reportedly found in Exmoor too, which further fueled all the speculation about it. A popular hypothesis suggests it might be an offspring of an escaped black panther and another felid, potentially forming an unknown hybrid species. Another theory, stemming from the Dangerous Wild Animals Act of 1976, proposed that owners of exotic cats like pumas or lynx may have released their animals into the countryside following the enactment of the law. Despite numerous sightings, the existence of the Beast of Exmoor remains a subject of debate. Some believe it may even be a supernatural creature, noting its uncanny ability to evade capture even by skilled military personnel. Skeptics, however, argue that the sightings are likely misidentified domestic cats, dogs, or deer, or that livestock deaths could be attributed to wandering dogs. Hybridization theories have also been discussed, but the ongoing perpetuation of such a species remains a mystery. The Maltese Tiger The Maltese Tiger, often called the Blue Tiger, is a legendary creature reported mainly in China's Fujian province. This elusive animal has captured the imagination of locals and wildlife enthusiasts for over a century, with the earliest stories emerging in the early 1900s. Neighboring regions like Burma and Korea also have reports of similar sightings. The Maltese tiger is characterized by its unique blue or grayish coat, believed to be caused by specific genetic mutations. However, concrete photographic evidence of its existence remains elusive to this day. Harry Caldwell and Roe Chapman Andrews report one of the earliest sightings around 1910, outside Fuzhou in the Fujian province. This account added to the mystique of the Maltese tiger, but no tangible proof was ever provided to substantiate the setting. The Maltese tiger story is not just limited to Asia though. In the 1960s, there was talk of a blue tiger in Oklahoma, USA, though this account lacks solid evidence. The unique coloration of the Maltese tiger, similar to the Russian blue cat known for its grey-blue fur, suggests a rare genetic variation. The idea that such a tiger could exist though has led to numerous legends and tales, with some even describing it as a man-eating blue devil. Entity Tiger the Enidi Tiger, also known as the African Sabretooth, is a cryptid report from the Enidi Plateau in Chad. It's described as a large feline creature with saber-toothed tusks, resembling a surviving species of the famous prehistoric cat. This creature has stirred much interest among cryptozoologists and enthusiasts of African folklore. According to local reports, there are two types of Enidi Tigers, the mountain type, known as Hadjel, Gassingram or Vosok, and the water type, known as Muru Angu, Mai Mai or Delal. The mountain type is described as a large tiger lacking a tail, with sandy red or brown fur with white stripes and overly hairy legs and feet. The water type is reportedly larger, around 10 to 11 feet long, with darker red or brown fur, white markings, and a long tail. The Nnedi tiger is said to inhabit the remote and inaccessible areas of the Nnedi Plateau, making it difficult to study or verify its existence. However, the evidence that's there is that local people in Chad have reported finding hippo corpses with injuries suggested of attacks by a large feline with saber-toothed tusks. Also, a cool thing to add, when shown pictures of extinct saber-toothed cats, local tribes identified them as resembling the NAD tiger, while modern cats such as lions and leopards were not recognized as such. Somshu The Somshu, also known as the Chinese lop-eared cat, 
is described as a long-haired, lop-eared type of cat or cat-like creature, not thought to be extinct if it ever existed. The first known description of the Sum Shu dates back to around 1736 in works by French Jesuit Duhalde, who referred to Martini's book on the white drooped-eared cat of Peking province. This breed was known for its long hair and pendulous ears, being a favorite among Chinese ladies. Specimens of this cat were rarely found outside China, and only one live specimen is reported to have been brought to Hamburg. The Sum Shu had an amusing and surprising appearance, similar in beauty to the Angora cat. It had a close, long coat of hair that was shiny, silky soft, and often isabelline or a dirty white-yellow color. It was larger and stronger than a domestic cat with completely hanging ears that were large in comparison to the normal cat. Despite its rarity, there was interest in this breed among cat fanciers in the early 20th century. Some thought the breed might be a cross between a marten and a cat. Researchers and cat enthusiasts made numerous inquiries, including to the Chinese embassy and animal dealers, but these efforts were ultimately fruitless, and the existence of the Sumshu remains unverified. The last reported sighting of a Chinese lop-eared cat was in 1938. Zanzibar Leopard The Zanzibar Leopard, scientifically known as the Panthera pardis adersi, is a subspecies of leopard that was once endemic to Ungaja Island in the Zanzibar archipelago of Tanzania. This leopard was distinctively smaller in stature compared to mainland leopards, a trait evolved because of the smaller size of its prey on the island. The Zanzibar leopard was not only the apex predator of Ungaja Island though, it was also its largest terrestrial carnivore. In 1932, the Zanzibar leopard was identified as a subspecies by British zoologist Renegald Innes Pocock. However, by 2008, it was widely considered extinct, primarily because of persecution caused by local superstition. This was because, according to traditional beliefs, these leopards were kept by witches to carry out evil deeds, which led to widespread culling, especially in the 1960s under a campaign led by the witch finder named Mizi Kidzani. This campaign, officially sanctioned by the revolutionary government of the time, nearly eradicated the leopard population on the island. Despite being declared extinct, reports and sightings of the Zanzibar leopard continued. In the mid-1990s, government records indicated that leopards were still being killed by hunters, and local residents reported sightings and attacks on livestock. This has led to some speculation that the leopard might still be out there on the island. In 2018, a significant development occurred when a camera trap set up for the Animal Planet series Extinct or Alive captured footage of what appeared to be a leopard on Ungaja Island. The video though has been met with skepticism because of the uncertainties about its exact origin and the leopard's pattern of rosettes. Some experts suggest that it could be a feral African leopard introduced to Zanzibar, but DNA evidence is considered necessary to confirm the identity of the leopard in the footage. But yeah, with any of these footages, it's always kind of hard to tell. The Beast of Blendenboro The Beast of Blendenboro, a cryptid from North Carolina, garnered widespread attention in the winter of 1953 to 1954. Eyewitnesses often described it as a large, cat-like creature around 5 feet long and 3 feet tall, with glowing red eyes, a muscular build, and covered in black fur. It was known for its razor-sharp teeth and claws and a distinctive growl or high-pitched scream. The beast was blamed for the deaths of numerous livestock and pets, mainly dogs, which were found drained of blood. Accounts varied widely, with some describing the creature as resembling a bear or a panther, and others suggested it looked like a big mountain lion or a cougar. There are also speculations that it could be a wolverine, a wild police dog or a hybrid animal. A local resident even claimed that it was a German Shepherd and a hound mix. One consistent aspect of the reports though was the beast's vampiric behavior, draining its victims of blood. This caused the beast of Blandenboro to end up becoming a sensation, attracting hundreds of hunters and curious onlookers to the town. Despite numerous hunting parties, the true identity of the beast remained a mystery. Eventually, the excitement died down, especially after Bobcat was caught in a metal trap and presented to townsfolk as a possible culprit. The incident had a significant cultural impact on Blandon Boro, inspiring books, documentaries, TV shows, and even an annual festival celebrating the legend. The Beast of Buchan The Beast of Buchan is a cryptid often described as a big cat or phantom cat, primarily sighted in the historic Buchan area of Aberdeenshire in northeastern Scotland. It's also been referred to as the Beast of Benici when seen near those hills. This creature is part of a broader phenomenon of big cat sightings throughout the UK, with reports of large cats becoming widespread since the 1980s. Many accounts describe the Beast of Buchan as being similar in size to a large dog like a Labrador or an Alsatian, with solid black color and a bushy head and tail. Sightings have been reported along the Formentin and Buchan Way, a 53 mile route of former railway lines, which is now a pathway and cycle lane attractive to wildlife. The beast has been described as being timid yet not scared, 
and there's been reports of the beast attacking livestock. For example, in 2006, a farmer in Cruden Bay found the carcass of one of his sheep spread across a field, attributing the attack to a huge, silky cat. Even in October 2008, a cat resembling a leopard was allegedly seen in the same area, and in 1998, a large cat-like creature was blamed for the slaughter of sheep around Iverness. Human attacks, though, by the beast of Buchan are rare, but in 2002, a woman was reportedly attacked by the creature near Inch. It was said that she was left with bruising and puncture marks on her upper thigh from the creature. As for explanations, it's believed that the folklore surrounding the beast of Buchan might have been inspired by settings of Kellis cats, a hybrid of domestic cats and wild cats, which have been found in Buchan. Donestre The Donestre, a creature from medieval mythology, is depicted as a fearsome and paradoxical being. Described in texts such as the medieval Liber Monsturum and Wonders of the East, these creatures were portrayed with a human body but the head of an unspecified animal, often interpreted as either a dog or a lion. Inhabiting an island in the Red Sea, the Donaste had a unique and chilling method of interacting with humans. They were said to possess the ability to speak the languages of all nations, a trait they used to deceive travelers. The Donaste would use their linguistic skills to gain the trust of foreign travelers by speaking to them in their native language and mentioning their kinsmen and acquaintances. Once they gained the travelers' trust, the Donaste would capture and consume their victim raw. After committing this act of violence though, the Donaste displayed a bizarre and contradictory behavior. They would mourn over the remains of their victims, particularly lamenting over their decapitated head. This act of mourning over the victim they had just consumed was a bit odd and highlighted the paradoxical nature of the Donaste as both a brutal predator and a creature capable of expressing sorrow and grief. These beings were often used to symbolize various aspects of human nature, morality, and the unknown realms of the world. Lemus The Lemus, also known as the Lemus Listae, is a creature said to inhabit the mountains in Patagonia. First mentioned by Florentine Amengino in 1897, the Lemus was later described in the 1955 book On the Track of Unknown Animals. It was described as a nocturnal creature of formidable strength, capable of seizing horses with its claws and dragging them underwater. Description of the lemish depicted as having a short head, large canine teeth, and no external ears. Its feet are short and plantigrade, with three toes on the forefeet and four on the hind. These toes, formed by a membrane suitable for swimming, are also equipped with formidable claws. The lemish is said to have a long, flat, and prehensile tail. Further studies and local accounts have described the lemish as mixed between a jaguar and an otter, and in some reports, it's said to be as large as an ox. The creature is believed to be equally adept on land as in water and is known for its soul-wrenching scream. Anthropologist Robert Lehman Niche claimed to have a sample of the Lemish's skin which was allegedly given to him by a local rancher. This sample was said to contain small bone plates that protected the creature from arrowheads. Additionally, the rancher reported finding the skin sample near human remains, leading to the belief that the Lemish had been hunted. Despite these intriguing descriptions and claims, the existence of the Lemish remains speculative. Some scholars have cast doubt on the research and suggest that the word Lamish is not even associated with any language spoken in Patagonia. Marozi The Marozi, commonly known as the Spotted Lion, is a cryptid reported mainly from the Aberdeer Mountains in Kenya. Sightings and tales of the mysterious creature date back to the early 20th century and have continued to intrigue cryptozoologists and wildlife enthusiasts. The first documented sighting by Westerners was in 1903 by Colonel Richard Maynard Hagen who observed dark lines with rosette-like markings in the mountains of Kenya. In 1931, a significant encounter occurred when a farmer named Michael Trent shot and killed two such creatures in the Aberdeer Mountains. These creatures were noted for their unusual spotted markings, resembling that of lion cubs, and the mill had an insignificant mane. The Nairobi Game Department showed interest in these animals due to their unique features, but conclusive species or age determination was not possible because of the insufficient skeletal evidence. Although the skull of the Maruzi was shot by Trent and not preserved initially, one was later found and submitted for examination. It was concluded to belong to a juvenile individual based on skull sutures. And in 1933, an expedition led by Kenneth Gander Dower was undertaken in the Aberdeer Mountains to capture or find more specimens of the Maruzi. While no live Maruzi was captured, evidence such as tracks was found, and sightings of the Maruzi occurred in other regions of Africa, including Uganda, Rwanda, and Ethiopia. Queensland Tiger The Queensland Tiger, also known as the Yari, is a cryptid reported in the Queensland area of Eastern Australia. It is described as roughly the size of a large dog but with the body shape of a large cat and is said to be muscular and lean, resembling a cheetah, with large prominent teeth 
an extremely long tail which is half the size of its body. The Gucci is generally known for its elusive and aggressive nature. Documented reports of the Queensland Tiger date back to 1871, with the Aboriginal Australian accounts predating the colonization of Australia in 1788. Eyewitnesses describe the animal as extremely fast and agile, primarily studied during twilight hours, which indicates a crepuscular lifestyle. During the 1970s, there were over 100 reports of tiger sightings, and several incidents of tigers being shot and killed by ranchers and hunters in the outback. The existence of the Queensland tiger has been subject to various theories though. One suggests it could be a small surviving population of Tylaculio, a large paradigm marsupial that lived in Australia around 30,000 years ago. Another theory proposes that the Queensland tiger might be a mainline variant of the thylacine, also known as the Tasmanian tiger. However, the Queensland tiger is described differently in size, head and body shape, and the position and color of stripes compared to the thylacine. Some speculate it might be an urban myth involving pumas brought to Australia by American soldiers during World War II and released into the outback. Despite ongoing sightings though, many believe the Queensland tiger might have gone extinct. Anza The Anza, a legendary big cat from Mexico, is described as similar in size and characteristics to a small cougar and is said to live in the mountains of the Sinola region in northwestern Mexico. The name Anza has been used to describe different animals in Mexican folklore, including the Jaguarundi and potentially a regional subspecies of a cougar or puma. The Anza has been consistently described by witnesses as slightly smaller than a cougar, with very slender limbs, long tail, wolf-like ears, and faint stripes, particularly on the lower part of the legs. Its appearance is distinct from pumas, cougars, or jaguars, with some accounts comparing it to an African cheetah because of its slender body and legs. Unlike most big cats though, Anzas have non-retractable claws, similar to dogs and cheetahs. Reports and sightings of the Anza date back to the 16th century and include descriptions from Spanish settlers in Mexico. Over the years, various accounts have resurfaced, including those from missionaries and naturalists, describing encounters with this mysterious cat. One notable account from 1986 involves Mexican rancher Andres Rodriguez Murillo, who shot a large cat on his Sonola ranch. This specimen underwent scientific analysis and was found to share molecular characteristics indistinguishable from those of North American pumas, suggesting it might even be a mutant form of a cougar. Bornean Bay Cat The Bornean Bay Cat, also known as the Catopuma badia, is a small wild cat endemic to the island of Borneo. It is one of the world's rarest and least known wild cats, and due to its rarity and elusiveness, it's often considered a cryptid. However, unlike cryptids whose existence is substantiated, the Bornean Bay Cat is a recognized species, but extremely rare. The Bornean Bay Cat has a short, rounded head with two dark stripes, originating from each eye, and the back of its head features a dark M-shaped marking. The cat's habitat includes dense tropical forests, and it's been observed in rocky limestone outcrops, lodged forests, and near coasts. Historically, the Bornean Bay Cat was rarely seen or captured. Only seven skins were known in the 19th century, and the living individual wasn't caught up until 1992. It was trapped on the Sarawak Indonesian border and brought to the Sarawak Museum on the verge of death. Since then, camera trapping surveys have recorded its presence, but sightings remain rare. The Bornean Bay Cat's secretive and nocturnal nature, along with possibly low population density, contributes to its rarity of sightings. Habitats such as swamp forests, lowland dip tarocarp forests, and hill forests up to at least 500 meters elevation are known to house the bay cat. Sightings have often been reported near bodies of water like rivers and mangoes too. It does make you think though, if this creature can avoid sightings, maybe there's other creatures out there like that too. Surrey Puma The Surrey Puma is a legendary big cat reported in Surrey, England. Sightings of this mysterious beast, often described as a phantom cat or alien big cat, have led to numerous investigations and have become a cult phenomenon in the region. The first physical evidence of such a creature was reported in 1955, when a woman walking her dog in Abinger Hammer found a mutilated dead calf and claimed to have seen a puma-like animal fleeing the scene. The peak of Surrey puma sightings occurred in mid-1960s though, especially between 1962 and 1964, when Surrey police reportedly received calls every two days. By 1966, there had been a total of 362 reports of big cat sightings in the area, Notable sightings include an animal described as quoted 3 feet high, 5 feet long with a cat's face and a long tail in 1964, and a cow and a deer reportedly attacked by a large animal, leaving terrible scratches as quoted. The modern era though, sightings have continued with more than 20 reports in the early 2000s, including photographs and blurry footage of a large brown cat. However, the authenticity of these sightings has often been questioned, and skeptics point out that if big cats have been surviving and breeding in the wild for this long, Evidence such as a carcass should have been found by now. 
The Surrey Puma story has inspired novels such as the Monica Edwards' The Wild One in 1967 and Andrew Sinclair's The Surrey Cat in 1976. Despite the lack of definitive proof, the Surrey Puma still remains an intriguing and enduring mystery in British folklore. Manx Cabot The Manx Cabot is a creature often rumored to be a hybrid between a cat and a rabbit, specifically linked to the Isle of Man. The creature has appeared in fiction and fantasy stories including Japanese anime and manga, and some have claimed to have seen it in the wild. However, most observations are either misidentified Manx cats or outright hoaxes, as it is considered genetically impossible for cats and rabbits to produce offspring together. The idea of the Manx cat can be traced back to the mid-1800s though, when writer Joseph Train included the story in his book, An Historical and Statistical Account of the Isle of Man. He suggested that Manx cat were the product of matings between female cats and buck rabbits. The Manx cat, a breed well known for its lack of a tail, has long back legs and a rounded hump, which may have added to the idea of the Manx cabot. This unusual physique led some to theorize that Manxes were cabots, offspring of a cat and rabbit. In reality though, the Manx cat's lack of tail is the result of a genetic mutation, and there's no such thing as a cabot since crossbreeding cats and rabbits is genetically impossible. Wampus Cat The Wampus Cat is a creature deeply rooted in American folklore, particularly in Appalachian region. Described as a fearsome hybrid of a mountain lion and a woman, the Wampus Cat is said to roam the wilderness, emitting eerie sounds to strike terror into those who encounter it. The legend of the Wampus Cat has several variations in Cherokee folklore. One story tells of Running Deer, a Cherokee woman who sought revenge against the evil spirit Ewa for driving her husband to madness. She donned a booger mask and the spear of a mountain cat to surprise and defeat the spirit, becoming the tribe's spirit talker and home protector. Some believe Running Deer's spirit resides within the Wampus Cat, guarding Cherokee lands. Another version involves a woman who spied on a sacred Cherokee ceremony by hiding under a mountain lion's pelt. She was discovered and punished by a medicine man, who transformed her into a feline creature, the Wampus Cat. Throughout Appalachia, the Wampus Cat is known by various names like Galley Wampus and Whistling Wampus. It's rumored to appear at twilight or dawn, and often portrayed as a cursed woman turned into a cat-like being due to disobedience or involvement in witchcraft. Eyewitnesses have reported the Wampus Cat as a large, fearsome creature with a bobcat's face, sharp claws, and glowing yellow eyes. Some accounts suggest the creature has six legs and resembles a half-cat, half-dog hybrid. These settings are typically reported in dense forests or remote areas, often accompanied by feelings of unease. Callus Cat The Callus Cat, a large black cat found in Scotland, is an interspecific hybrid between the Scottish wildcat and domestic cat. Initially thought to be a mythological wildcat, its existence was confirmed in 1984 when a specimen was caught in a snare. This discovery shifted the Callus Cat from the realm of cryptozoology to recognize hybrid species. The Callus Cat is not a formal breed but a land race of felid cryptids. It is described as large and black with some specimens measuring nearly 4 feet long not including the tail which can add an extra 12 inches. These cats are rare and primarily found in Scotland, especially in areas like Fifi and Aberdeen. In Scottish folklore, the Callus Cat has often been confused with mythological creatures like the cat set. It even speculated that the Pickstone Stone at Goldsby may depict a Callus Cat. Researchers have even examined several Callus Cat specimens with some identified as melanistic wildcats and others as hybrids leaning more towards Scottish wildcats. Despite their kitten-like appearance, Callus cats are not suitable for domestication. They retain wild instincts and can become aggressive as they mature. They are considered one of Britain's rarest mammals though and efforts are ongoing to conserve the species which represents the last of Britain's native cats. Cactus Cat The Cactus Cat is a legendary fearsome creditor of the American Southwest. Descriptions of this mythical creature generally depict it as resembling a bobcat but covered in hair like thorns with particularly long spines extending from the legs and its armored branching tail. The creature was said to use its spines to slash open cacti at night, allowing juice to flow out. Sightings of the cactus cat date back to the 1800s with cowboys, frontiersmen, and other people reported seeing the creature wandering through the desert. They claimed to survive the harsh and dry environment by feasting on the sap from the millions of cacti found in the desert. Despite these reports, the story of the cactus cat is probably fueled by numerous cases of misidentification, most likely being a bobcat, mountain lion, or porcupine. The cactus cat was included in the 1910 book Fearsome Creatures of the Lumberwoods by William Thomas Cox, further cementing its place in American folklore. Throughout the years, reports of the cactus cat have circulated, with the creature being a subject of intrigue and tall tales in the regions it's said to inhabit, like the Mojave and Sonoran deserts. Splinter Cat the Splinter Cat, a creature in American folklore, is known for its nocturnal and fearsome nature. Described as a feline of great ferocity, 
It's said to fly through the air with incredible speed, striking large trees with such force that it knocks off the branches, withers the trunk, and leaves the tree standing like a silvery ghost. These actions are believed to be a way for the spinter cat to expose raccoons and bees, its favorite food. The force of hitting the trees reportedly leaves the splinter cat with a constant headache, contributing to his perpetually foul mood. Because of this, it's advised never to approach a splinter cat. The splinter cat is part of the fearsome creator's variety, the same as the cactus cat we talked about before. It's described as about the size of a cougar, with long claws, powerful legs, and gray fur that helps it blend in with the trees. Its eyes are large, yellow, and glow in the dark, aiding its nocturnal activities. The splinter cat is also known for its solitary nature, and is said to be rarely seen by humans. It's aggressive, territorial, and primarily active at night, spending most of its time in trees. In some Native American cultures, the splinter cat is a symbol of strength and ferocity. The creature has also been featured in modern art, literature, movies, and video games. The splinter cat even appears in the 1974 children's book, The Last of the Really Great Wangadoodles, by Julie Andrews Edwards, where it serves the Prime Minister of Wangadoodle Land and enjoys playing cat's cradle. Usuri Wildcat The Usuri cat is a naturally occurring, semi-wild breed that originated along the banks of the Amur River in Russia. It's known for its wild appearance, athletic and graceful body, medium-sized rounded head, well-shaped chin, and a dark tip tapering tail. This rare breed is believed to have developed through a natural crossbreeding between the Amur Forest Cat and the Amur Leopard Cat, a subspecies of the Asian Leopard Cat. Some theories also suggest that Eucerus were born from crossbreeding between local domestic cats and Amur Leopards. In the mid-1990s, a breed standard was published, but the breed status remains unclear and it's not recognized by major cat fancy organizations like TSIA or CFA. Lucy cats are considered intelligent, skillful, independent, and instinctive, with a strong natural talent for hunting. They're known to form a strong bond with a single person in the family, but they're not considered lap cats. They're also typically affectionate towards all family members, but may not be suitable for families with very young children because of their strong prey drive and independent nature. Their coats are short, glossy, and close-lying, with a thick undercoat requiring minimal grooming. These cats are also hardy and generally wealthy, with an average lifespan of 12 to 16 years. They're said to require a well-balanced diet that caters to their wild nutritional needs, often eating fresh meat and nutritional supplements. Usri cats are naturally gifted athletes too, and need adequate space to run, jump, and climb. Because of their wild origin, they're not well suited for apartment living, and need access to outdoor spaces. So that ends the video, I hope you all enjoyed. Let me know some feedback in the comments and hope you have a good day. Bye.